Um, the next story we have, we are talking about Airbnb. Airbnb, yep. some sort of camera, a hidden camera? What are okay. people saying this Imagine morning? Imagine this. Let me help set this scenario up for you, ladies, okay? Okay. You've got kids. You rent a home in Florida. Airbnb, rental service. Yep, you rent a home that. in Florida through Airbnb. Uh -huh. All of a sudden, you look up, room your kids are staying in, smoke detectors blinking, and you're going, hmm. Is that normal? Right. Is it supposed to blink? Is it supposed to have a color or a light? Whatever. So this dad, who is in the tech industry, mm. who is a smart digital guy, looks at it, pulls it down, and what does he find but a hidden camera? Mm. His kids. He was staying with his family in this Florida home, and there was a digital camera found in the ceiling, oh, on no. the ceiling, in a smoke detector. Those pictures um, we're looking at now? Yes. Wow. And by the way, this camera was so incredibly tiny, you really have to be an expert to know what you're looking at because it would not have been recognizable and you have to wonder how many other victims there are. So this family is saying, if you've stayed in this home, please come forward, there may be other victims. And again, it was a really nice townhome. Um, and Hosted by Wayne, so it's this Wayne. Yep. Mm -hmm. that imp oh my gosh, implanted this camera. Okay, well, w let's... Okay, we're back on, just, to, just so you know, we're back on Facebook. Okay, if you're Perfect. just joining us now, Extra Shot, we just talked all about the Harvey Weinstein yep. investigation that is ongoing right now. So if you want to watch that after this, you can go back and watch it. Yep. Now we are talking about Airbnb yes. and camera. The, uh, this guy, Wayne, uh, had implanted a certain camera in one of the smoke detectors of a Florida home. Family is reacting. Mm -hmm. And so, so Airbnb, by the way, um, waived the fee of the rental. Well, uh, yeah. well at least. There's one thing. <laughs> um, also, Wayne Nat 56, who posted the room on Airbnb, was arrested. Okay. Uh, for the video so voyeurism and is currently out on bond. His arraignment is scheduled next month, so the story will come back in the headlines next month. Airbnb told ABC News that Nat had an account on his website for two years and had at least 40 reviews. The company said, though, that it did permanently ban him from the site, clearly. Oh, thank goodness. Um, but 40 reviews could mean that there were at least 40 people who stayed at least 40 victims, potentially, depending on when you put these cameras in, but they certainly want to hear from all of those folks because now the concern is this is not going to be the only family who is going to fall victim to what happened. Now, yeah, my question is, I stay in Airbnb quite a lot. Yeah. Um, as a comic, when you do shows out of town, instead of booking a hotel room, just stay in Airbnb. It's cool. Mm -hmm. um, I stayed in Airbnb recently and immediately I was like, ooh, mm -hmm. because one, you're like, you treat it like a hotel. Yes, it's someone's home and you understand that. But once you're there, you're like, well, I'm staying here for the weekend. It's, a, you know, it's a hotel. So you would expect that they're not be hidden cameras because if you feel like you need to go to certain lengths to record what the person inside your Airbnb apartment or house is doing, then you don't need to be booking out for Airbnb. No. Like if you're well, that if you paranoid, are, if, if you you're that trust, paranoid yeah. to be letting r random guests stay in your home, that you have to be vetted. You have to upload your driver's license front and mm -hmm. back whenever you sign up for Airbnb. Like you yeah. have to go through a process to get a to like, get I in. I wouldn't Airbnb and knowing that I'm a paranoid person yeah. when it comes to that, I, but that's my prerogative, right? Like yeah. I don't choose to be one who rents my, my place out. And well, if I did, yeah, I would want some sort of surveillance, but that's not right. That's, that, that's you can, against yeah. the law. You can't be spying on people. Well, and let's be clear, this wasn't a surveillance camera. It wasn't you know, It wasn't just like I have an alarm system and I have a surveillance camera popped into the living room and that's the only room you see because the front door entrance is right there. That's not what this was. There were two separate hidden cameras found in two separate smoke detectors that were clearly unrecognizable to the normal person. Any and average, not disclosed. And, and not, not disclosed. disclosed. Any average person staying there would never have noticed these, which is why potentially they now want to talk to all these people who have left reviews, who have booked him, because they're wondering, my gosh, how many other victims could there be? And thank goodness this dad who has this tech background yeah. noticed yeah. that there was something off and then looked at it and found and then, these cameras. Yeah, in the bath, I mean, in the bedroom, that's where you, that's your personal space. Oh, my that's goodness. where you change your clothes. Mm -hmm. At one point, I'm sure family uh, is, is nude, getting in and out of your, you know, clothes for the day, going into the bathroom, going into the shower. Yeah, everything. You, Little mom and daddy time. Like, it's, it's everything. It's everything. everything. It's a vacation rental. Oh, my God. This so, is what, do, what was he thinking and why did he, what was the motive, over. right? Like, why? So, yeah, and also, like, how does this change your perspective now? Because yeah. we stay in Airbnbs a lot, BRBOs yeah. as well. Um, not to say that everyone who, you know, hosts their home or a room for rent is bad, but now 
I am someone who's going to be incredibly skeptical yeah. now and looking through everything and worried and overanalyzing. Oh, that's me all the time anyways. Like, that's me all the time. See, that that's, teddy bear, yeah. has, like, those eyes look weird. Like, what is that? It's just so paranoid. And you the, know? The, the big thing about Airbnb, too, is you go off the reviews because you can post pictures of your space and you can look through it, but... A lot of the times the reviews tell you exactly what it is. Like this place is great because mm -hmm. X, Y, and Z and mm -hmm. whatever, and the bed is comfy and the pillow. Like they give specifics. Yeah. But the fact that everybody yeah. was like, it's such a great place, or you know, just had a somewhat positive reviews, I'm uh. assuming, and come to find out that you were being recorded the whole time by some guy mm -mm. who owns the space. That kind of changes things for Airbnb, yeah. and this and isn't the first time Airbnb hasn't been under fire for certain things. They've certain uh, they've been uh, put on blast because certain um, uh, Airbnb owners or renters wouldn't rent to people specifically because of the color of their skin or because they were they were women or versus men. So this There's isn't the first issues. time Airbnb and got the lieutenant out who's on this case now said not only did they find those cameras, right? They also discovered at his home a lot of computer storage data devices, hard drives, computers, laptops, SD cards, anything that would store data. They have confiscated, collected it as evidence. So God. unfortunately, that's the scary part is if you were victimized, now this stuff exists and you have to wonder, has anyone else seen yeah, what did he these do? images? What, what did, did he do Wayne with it? What did this guy do with all mm. of that footage before he got caught? Mm -mm. Does it live online? Is it um, sold somewhere? Who right. knows the mommy daddy time you're talking about? I mean, this has a lot of legs. Mm -hmm. And, and it's terrifying. So, it's terrifying. It's I feel terrible. bad for those who have stayed there because now you're just gonna wonder. If you don't get answers ever, you're going to wonder. Yep. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. So how mm. do you prevent this in the future, right? Like, w w I want to know. We need to talk to some expert. Like, how do you? What do you need to do to check to make sure? Do you have to look for the blinking lights? How, maybe that was the camera dying or mm -hmm. something. Yeah. How about if there was? You know, we we don't know what to look for. Right. So right. you shouldn't have to. If you book a space to stay overnight but it is for the weekend, Are you we shouldn't surprised? have to be in there with that metal thing that you see people in the old school '80s movies on the beach trying to mm. find change. No. Like the metal thing. Like you shouldn't have but to have a this? wand. But you are entering into someone's home. This isn't like you're going to a hotel. I'm not saying it's right by any means, but I'm saying, have we become this society where we are maybe a too little trusting. too trusting?